What's up, YouTube? It's Cards with Michael. It's been a bit, but today we have an ED Heroes booster box sponsored by Corey. Thanks so much, Corey. This is the probably the most exciting set this year. Um, it's just such a special set. It has all, of course, the Evolutions and also Evolution alt arts. And just, I don't know, they, they did a really good job with the arts of this set. I've watched some other openings, of course. They're not the first. We're not even like close, not even the first half of all the new YouTubers that have been opening these, but I'm really excited to get the chance to open one of these. So I really appreciate Corey for sponsoring and supporting the channel. All right, let's get to this. Um, EV Heroes, this set is just like any other set in Japan. Um, the retail of these typically is $50 roughly, uh, or about 5,000 yen. Um, but, uh, even before the set kind of released, it was already going for like 125, 150, um, even more than that, honestly, on eBay and kind of your, your social media, Facebook group sales. So yeah, it's a very popular set. Um, I think that, uh, you know, if you were, if you missed out on this set so far and you're like, oh man, I really want to get some EV heroes. Um, my best recommendation is that typically Pokemon will reprint these Japanese sets multiple times especially they're very popular so just wait uh, prices typically will go down um if you're patient enough just look at shiny star v it went up to as high as 150 and kind of is uh dropping back down again all right anyways let's get to the packs oh my god there's a pikachu in this set as well our first hollow is the eldegoss with a little bit of a smeagol oh i know i spoiled it but that's a kind of like some of these arts do kind of intersect and <laughs> we have Electrode and um, kind of these little puzzle cards. Now, I can't really read this, uh, but for those that know Japanese, little puzzle cards. So some of these packs do have um, more than five cards because of a little puzzle card. And uh, we'll keep going. Now, I also think I saw a box that had more than one secret rare, uh, but that is kind of a chase for these sets. Just looking for the secret rare. All right, here we go. Cute little slugma. Hey, another hollow. Right. And of course, the trainer and another puzzle card. All right. Cool. Let's keep going. Uh, I would be kind of surprised if they release like another version without the puzzle cards, uh, kind of in the shiny star V, but this is not high class. So, uh, yeah, we're not expecting, not expecting the, oh, this is aroma, I think. Not expecting the kind of exclusivity of those first print run versus not um but yeah this is a cool set let's keep going this is also uh fun because well these are very popular pokemon in pokemon and we really haven't seen them take advantage of that uh the charizards have been you know printed a lot we did have a voltage with the fat chunk of chew um of course we do have rayquaza coming on and evolving skies so just a lot of fun things going on with Pokemon that are not as Charizard related. Uh, although you can't really talk about social media and Pokemon these days without mentioning <laughs> the BGS 10 Charizard that was unveiled just a couple days ago. Oh, wow. Okay. We have our HR Aroma Rainbow. That is gorgeous. That is really nice. Holy moly. Oh, they do such a good job these days with these sets. Goodness gracious. All right. There's also some type of texture here as well. What a pretty card. All right. Now, can we get another secret rare and make this a twofer box? That would be optimal. That would be nice. Uh, I know people prefer or say that the rainbow cards are a little bit harder to pull, but I personally like the non-rainbow ones a little bit more. Corey, let me know in the comments what your preferences are. Actually, chat. I mean, uh, YouTube, let me know what you guys prefer. Because I, I don't know. I just think that's, that's just how I go. I like the, I like the actual dynamic colors. Because um, rainbow is like always rainbow, whereas the dynamic colors are you know, what it realistically looks like. So 
I don't know. Oh, that's a really cute little mural. And our first V. All right. Here we go. Umbreon. Cute. Very cute. Okay, put right there. On to the next. About halfway through. So, like I said, these are, or not like I said, but you guys probably have seen these before. Um, 30 packs. Each pack is supposed to have five cards. These do have six, uh, which means these boxes are a little bit heavier. The packs are a little bit heavier, I guess, um, than your normal standard Japanese booster box. Which I wonder if they considered as a thing, because that definitely, for like big, big orders, that changes the weight of uh, what you're normally used to. Um, 30 extra cards could be a little bit significant actually. All right, let's go. Let's seen a lot of these already. A lot of these are duplicating. Um, another thing I'm curious about is chat or YouTube. What do you guys say is your favorite of the evolutions? And your, f ooh, we have a VMAX here. The Leafeon, all right. What's your favorite of the evolutions and what is your favorite of uh, the alt arts in the set? I think I like the EV, uh, the Leafeon. Secret rare. That one is really, really cool. All right. I, don't, I know it's not the most valuable one, but I just think it's super cool. I also like um, Glaceon, but I think the Glaceon one isn't as cool. Uh, or at least the secret rare. The secret art. The alt art. Oh, there's Smeagol leaving his little trail of green. All right. Ah, so many cool puzzles. Too bad I have no idea. Am I supposed to be able to figure out these puzzles without reading Japanese? Probably. No, no, probably not. Because there's a, a little header, a little caption there. All right. All right. It is kind of weird uh, when we uh, pull the hit and there's like two cards behind it. Not used to that. Maybe I'll just put the puzzle to the side and then go. All right. All right. Throw back. Lots of fun little hollows. Not too many VV Max hits actually, but hopefully that means we still have a lot of spicy things left in this box. Let's go. Ooh. Meowth also following the Smeagol. Why are they all falling? What is the story going on here, Palace? And Kangaskhan. All right, more puzzles. More puzzles. Here we go. Next pack. Let's go. Slug. <laughs> Ooh, wow. This is just a V hit. But I like it so much. Espion. The spy. That's what she would be. Or he. I mean, I just, I don't know why. I automatically gendered Espion. This feels very feminine. Um, Espion would be a spy if this was a, a fun TV show. All right. Here we go. Do move me out. Right, you. All right. Neat. Another Kangaskhan. Okay. Okay. On to the next Rotom. All right. Miss. Da -da -da. Wow, that's an Entei. I didn't realize Ichigeki Entei was in this set. We're on to the next one. Fingers crossed. Wow, we only have three Vs and V Maxes. This feels, oh, speaking of which, look at that. Glaceon, the fun little haircut. All right, Glaceon V Max. Shiny as heck, and also a mel melodic. Well, from one of my favorite Pokemon, just because I think it's such a funny name. Feebas! All right, here we go. Another pack down. Now, what else we got here? I'm hoping, so we have just five packs left. Really hoping we end with another BV Max and maybe, just maybe, another Secret Rare. That would be the spice, guys. The true spice. Here we go. Let's just go straight to it. Boom! 
All right, there's our V, our Jolteon. All right, all right. <laughs> Is that a fun way of opening it? Let me know, YouTube. You, know, you want me to do that more? Let's go straight to the chase. Why even bother with the comments? We've seen the comments already. We've seen them a million times, all right? Here we go. Boom. Ah, just a little hollow here. All right. Last two packs. Last two packs. All right. I hope that we can get another V or V Max because I just think we deserve one. Corey, you deserve this. Let's go. Boom. Yes. There we go. Another V. All right. Okay. We'll go look at each one one more time at the very end. And the very last pack. Can we get a last pack magic? Let's go. Come on now. Come on now. Slam that to the side. Slam that to the side. And boom. All right. All right. All right. Not the hits we were looking for. But we got a lot of good hits. Here we go. Our V. Our V. V Max. V. V Max. And a very, very cool Umbreon. All right. Of course, we did get a full art trainer. Can't complain. Look at that. Let's look at the centering on this. We did get our PSA submission, a couple of Charizards. They all got tens, it was really nice. We also got this really fun uh, Yanji graded this, or had this sent through me and got a 10 as well. So, you know, this actually looks gorgeous. If PSA was willing to take submissions, we'd probably send this in, get another 10. And that is the box. Hope you guys had a good time. Corey, thank you so much for sponsoring this. Guys, I'll see you on the next one.